Привіт! I'm Taya from Ukraine and welcome to my channel again. After the last video, guys, I'm very shocked that you really like this kind of topic and YouTube actually promoted this video. So I have a lot of new subscribers right now. Welcome to my channel. And I want in this video to um, be acquainted with you, to tell more about me, about my family. If you like this format, uh, this type of uh, video, please uh, subscribe, like, share and comment my video. That um, helps me to promote my channel. So this village is located in Poltava region. It's around three hours driving by car from Kyiv, where I live. I was not born here. My family roots from my mother's side are coming here. I spent uh, almost all my summer holidays here in this village. It's three months, like, can you imagine? So I know village lifestyle I would say uh, pretty well. And I want to show you another part of summer time in the village. We already harvested beans and we are going to dry them out and then just, you know, keep it. And uh, when you cook it, you need to soak it uh, for a very long time. But it's uh, very good that you can keep it. Uh, everyone here in Ukraine are uh, preparing for a tough winter. There's so much beans that I, I, I don't know if we really eat that much, but that's not all. That's not even the end. I came to the village center. Let's see what we have here. Ah, there are many shops, uh, product shops over there. There's also pharmacy. Uh, there's also a different kind of like cafes like this one. This is the products that you need for house and for construction. Over here we have Svizzeria. <laughs> it's a cafe and a drugstore. Also, this is yellow one. It's a, a new supermarket. You can pay by card, you know, and it everything looks like a you know typical supermarket in a big city. And uh, this is another shop, also new one. You hear they bother me uh, recording the video. So that's where I. Uh, did my groceries. This shop has home goods. It has everything starting with the soap, dishes and different kind of pots ending with you see garden decor, uh, fan, reconstruction equipment and nails. In terms of prices, 100 hryvna Ukrainian currency is less than $3 right now and 500 hryvna is less than $14 now. Also, we have here a museum. Yes, there's a museum in the village. Actually, there are two of them because famous writer Mikolai Gogol was born in this district in this village and there's museum dedicated to his history this is just the history of the village this is handmade embroidery of our the most famous writer taras shevchenko also you can see the history of the region which is called Mirgorod region the train station is situated over there and this is nikolai gogol ukrainian writer of fantasy novels he is the symbol of the village because he was born there. The museum also shows you the time of World War II and detailed life of Soviet period afterwards. I was impressed to see many interesting tools for working on a field. I would say to live in the village comfortably it's uh, possible but maybe not in winter because all of this road will be icy and no one really cleaned that and it can be very dangerous if you, you know, old woman, you don't uh, have a car and uh, you 
can buy essentials and uh, maybe different vegetables and fruit mostly in the city center uh, it took me around 10 minutes uh, riding by bike you might say that's pretty close but uh, you know the road here is uh, can be dangerous with a lot of holes there used to be even a dentist cabinet here in the village also the hospital however they closed it because you know villages are dying right now so in this village uh, you see only business of shops actually are growing and developing they have a shop of meat shop of fresh beer also you may find in the village beauty salon and post office and something interesting that you will not expect to see this village has a pretty long history so it's not new and who read my post about independence day i wrote about history of ukraine and during Cossack time those ukrainian warriors this church was built if i'm not mistaken it is from 18th century this man's name is danilo apostol he was hetman of zaporizhian host in 18th century he sponsored to build this church and also he was born in this village these are the symbols of Cossacks. This instrument is called Bandura. Our tradition is to go to the church to baptize food on Easter. And I have many uh, nice memories with this church. This is called the House of Culture. You know, the concerts are held in here. And I can say uh, from this corner here from the left, I think there's a government here. Uh, they make the pavement, that's why you hear, uh, you see, I mean, these cars for the roads. And the monument of Mykolai Hoval, the, he is a symbol of this village. In the village of a few thousands people, you have a sign for Google Tour in English. I think uh, this is pretty cool. And also it says uh, the Museum of Google and the church. There used to be a monument of Lenin or some other Soviet uh, I don't really remember, but after 2014, all the Soviet monuments were cut, and that's all around Ukraine. Because you know why? Ukraine tries to get rid of Soviet past. That's a philosophical question if it's right or wrong. Another stop for you here it used to be the evening school where my grandma in 50s uh, went to and uh, as you can see it's not working right now and here is just a nice field with the cow sunny bright day 30 degrees Now preparing for winter part dozen, we are going to make pickled or canned bell pepper. This is uh, watermelon we were just eating. Yes, you need to cut and clean it. We will add onion later. As usual, you need to prepare jars first, boil them like in this technique. Then what will be peres or salad? Salad is Ah, it will be bell pepper mixed with eggplants, like a salad, as you can see. So you cut all ingredients and then you need to uh, boil it. You add a tomato sauce or so, paste. And that's it what I wanted to show you in this episode. Make sure to check another my videos. I have around 400 I think. And 
I have lots of different topics, so I'm sure you will find some interesting for you. Also, don't forget to support Ukraine. We still have war and we still need your help. I will leave all the links down below in the description or in the first comment. Also, if you want to support me, always comment. It helps to promote my channel and my videos. Like, subscribe. And if you want to support me, I will leave all the links also in the description. See you in my next episode. Bye, guys. Mm -hmm.